guys, we're back with another video, and today I am making my imaginary battle. Guys, if you saw Tommy Ace's channel, he makes a, um, he makes a bunch of kaizu battles, like just a bunch, okay? Like, for example, Skull Collar versus Muto, and Kong versus Muto, and Skull Collar versus Anonymous Rex, etc. Let's get into my battle. My battle is going to be. Rodan, no, Muto versus Rodan, or Rodan versus Muto, whichever way you prefer it. I prefer Rodan versus Muto, because Rodan is not as unique as the Muto. The Muto just looks so unique, like a weird creature out of this world. Now, guys, I put, I made this battle because they're both creatures that can fly. Now, first up, we're going to talk about Rodan, because this video... If you see the title, it's called Rodan vs. Muto. Now, the Rod okay, Rodan, he can fly, and he's like a big red pterodactyl. He came out of a volcano. If you saw the new movie, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And he is like a volcano eagle, guys. That's what my dad calls him. He likes to be a volcano eagle. But yeah, guys, he is Rodan. And guys... If you saw the new Godzilla movie, he he was a bad guy, but then he bowed to Godzilla and he respected Godzilla because Godzilla became the king of the monsters. Now let's move on to the Muto. The Mutos, they can fly too, just like Rodan. They look very unique. And, yeah, and they also have... Guys, I don't really know much about the Muto because when I watched Tommy, when I watched... Tommy Ace's video of the Skull Collar vs. the Muto, um, it was, uh, I didn't really know, I forgot some of the words he said, so all I know is that the Muto can fly and it looks super cool, that's all, okay guys, I'm sorry, okay, so yeah guys, put your opinion down in the comments, who, who would win, Rodan vs. the Muto, okay guys, leave a comment, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, bye guys!